Uh, it, it, it brought a smile to my face when I was reading the science on the red light therapy and the hyperbaric oxygen. So they all point to mitochondria again, mm-hmm. even the red light. Uh, there are scientific papers that I could pull out that show that re- the red light at that, at that wavelength is disrupting the ability of mitochondria to make energy. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the way mitochondria make energy is that it's like a hot potato. They take uh, electrons and they pass them along. Red light disrupts that. And then you have low energy and your AMPK system detects low energy and starts to give you the health benefits because it's worried that you're going to run out of energy. So the light, oxygen, hunger, simulating low energy, or in some cases actually is low energy. I mean, it's been shown to protect against hair loss and improve skin uh, and stimulating stem cells. Mm. I tried shining some red light on some nematode worms to make them live longer. It didn't work. That was a few years ago. Um, I think there's a lot more data now that it's, it's likely to be working similar to exercise and fasting, but through a light mechanism, which is actually easier.